What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the patch notes today, primarily fixes. I want to talk to you guys about the results of these fixes. I wanted to make sure to test some of these before we got into the video today just because I wanted to see what the current state of combat was. As you guys know, they're ramping up for a major update, so a lot of these changes will be coming in sweeping. And with that being said, they have removed a few more exploits. So, let's get into this. Uh, first things first, guys, they have fixed the equip or unequip actions sometimes being rejected due uh, to bad network connections. So basically just streaming out the back end to make sure that everything flows smoothly smoothly <laughs> they fixed to the fix to prevent rapid requests of the unequip and equip on the same item from re reverting to the action that is already in progress i've not seen that one yet uh they fixed an issue where the precision of an item durability that would prevent being damaged when the value was near zero and they fixed an issue where wieldable animation layers sometimes did not kick in when players entered the world now, as far as combat goes, they fixed an issue that would cause incorrect behavior when casting Mesmerize on a leashing enemy. Now, the beautiful thing about this is I tested this specifically on the bears. The bears are running smooth. Infinite health bear is still a thing, though, unfortunately. Uh, so you guys can, well, maybe fortunately, depending on how you look at it, so you guys can still infinite level your weapons. Um, but as far as the overall, like, responsiveness, uh, outside of a disappearing bear that I experienced that caught on fire and then disappeared... Uh, when he got stuck, everything else is code for all secure. All right. So they fixed an issue where spells could be cast without stamina. Uh, they fixed an issue where combat music continuing after a player changes zone. We've seen that a lot. Uh, variation motions have been added to the stun mechanic. Uh, I haven't looked at these yet, but we're just going to have to see how this looks like. And they also fixed an issue with two hand weapon special attacks, not displaying ground hit effects. So Seems like as far as the combat goes, like they're just kind of tightening things up and getting ready for you already know what's happening for the combat improvement, uh, which I'm excited about. And we'll kind of dig into that as soon as we get closer and closer to that. As far as the UI UX improvements, they fixed an issue where players could accidentally press different buttons in the radio menu. I've done that where I've actually like ported back home instead of like summoning my corpse. It's, it's annoying. Signs are no longer interactable. They fixed an issue with the pop-up button in the lobby not having intended functionality. They removed extra interaction dot on dead players. It's going to be easier to revive. They fixed new clan leaders getting duplicate clan messages. Uh, they removing the settings keybinds from the lobby. Uh, interesting. I never, I never even noticed that. Added a refresh button to the character list in the lobby. I swear that's always been there, but you know who knows. Removed HUD elements that showed on the loading screen when entering the game. Thank God, it's about time, all right? They added a cancel button to the split stack UI, and they added a button to log out. That's nice. Now we just need a character select screen, unless unless that's what that is. I, I have to see. <laughs> or you just log out and then switch character, you know, pick characters. Uh, I, yo, I got to test that. So they fixed the bug in camp spawning behavior that would immediately repopulate certain spawn points without respecting the respawn timer. Um, I'm assuming um, basically how it worked was regular mobs would not respawn. Um, as far as the other stuff goes, the bosses in those counters would respawn. So if it was a boss and it was it was tethered to mobs, those spawns would respawn. Now, they fixed an issue where medium uh, ring fort in Inescalia was missing NPCs. So, if you guys are in Inescalia, you guys should have mobs to kill. Uh, they fixed an issue where medium, oh, excuse me, they fixed an issue where corpses could spawn to origin 000 and were unrecoverable. We had this happen to some of our guys, uh, kind of annoying. Uh, fixed an issue where corpses could spawn in the air and become unrecoverable. They also fixed an issue where bears could become unresponsive after entering water. So, if you guys were using the water farming glitch, it's over, okay? Potentially. <laughs> fixed an issue where map movement audio would continue playing even when the mouse was still. And uh, they fixed an issue where the streaming distance setting didn't persist after rebooting the title. And wearing certain leather shoes does not affect the size of the ankles. No more cankles, okay? Now, um, as this rolls in, guys, uh, I'm going to be making another video that I want to talk to you guys about Mez Fireball. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk about that, and I know a lot of people, it's going to affect a lot of people negatively, or a lot of people might think that um, it's a negative effect on the game because it virtually eliminates, or they feel like it virtually eliminates the ability to solo. 
but I want to get into some topics as to why I think that's going to be a thing and how Fireball actually could be changing entirely uh, in the next video. But with that being said, guys, you guys know we always cover the patch notes. I want to give you guys an update of the things that were changing just in case you guys are keeping an eye on this from far away as you guys wait for the patch. Uh, but if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. I'd be happy to assist. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. T R I N I T Y V two fly. Be boy, L A D Y O N. I be damn like they know that they all run. Red wear to the face, not a.